Hello and welcome to another Pyrex tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can send Bluetooth messages between two or more LEGO hubs. In this case, I'm using the Essential Hub to send a few sensor values to the Robot Inventor Hub. But you could do it the other way around or use any other LEGO Hub as well, as I'll show you later on in this video. Before I show you how it works exactly, let's first have a look at what this demo does exactly. The color sensor measures the reflected light intensity from 0 to 100, and this force sensor detects whether it's pressed or not, and it sends both of these values to the other hub, which then uses the display and the light to indicate what the values are. So if I change the position of this stack of Lego bricks, you'll see the reflected light intensity change. Reflection is low and we're far away, and it gets higher as we get closer. And that value is displayed on this matrix display. Likewise, the light is red in this case, but if I press the button, it's going to turn green. All right, now let's have a look at how you can do this as well. In this case, the programs were pre-installed on the hubs for this video, but I'm just going to turn them off uh, so you can see how to load them onto the hubs yourself. As you can see, I've opened up two windows of Pyrex code, which lets you conveniently connect to two hubs at the same time and program them at the same time as well. Uh, so let's connect to the hub. I've called this hub the uh, Essential Hub, but you could have picked any other name during installation. And picking a unique name is useful because now, as you can see, you can tell them apart easily. So let's connect the Inventor Hub as well. All right, and just in case you want to check that it's connected, you can just click the status over here and you can tell that indeed it's the Inventor Hub as I called it, but you could have just seen the hub type here as well, even if you had given it another name. Okay, so the program on the left-hand side is going to be running on the Essential Hub, and the program on the right-hand side is going to be installed on the Inventor Hub in this case. Let's go through them one by one. Let's also start them so we can see the result at the same time. All right, so as you can see, it is now sending and receiving values again. To make this work in Pybrix, we use a Bluetooth technique called broadcasting from one hub and observing on another hub. And this is really convenient because you can send data without having to make an explicit connection between two hubs. So this really makes it easy to make a large network of hubs and make really simple programs. And notice that it didn't matter which hub was turned on first because they don't have to connect at all. One hub is just sending values and the other is receiving them. And you can mix those two as well if you like. So let's start by looking at the program for the Essential Hub on the left-hand side. It starts off with a setup section as usual on Pybricks. So there's the hub, there's the force sensor, and the color sensor. The only difference is that this time we've enabled a few extra options on the hub by clicking on this arrow button. There are options for the orientation of the hub, which we don't need in this tutorial, so we'll just leave them at the default. And then there are options for Bluetooth. In this case, we've told it to broadcast or send data on channel 123. And you could have picked any number between 0 and 255. Now the rest of the program is pretty straightforward. It's really just a loop that every 100 milliseconds is going to broadcast a new list of values. In this case, it's going to broadcast a list with the reflected light intensity and the force value. And that's really all there is to it. And since this is just a list, you can expand this with more items if you like. In total, you can send about four or five values at the same time, depending on the uh, data type. All right, so this hub is really not doing much more than just broadcasting these two values the whole time. What about the other hub? All right, there's a bit more code here, but again, uh, not too much. Let's start with the setup again. Uh, just like on the other side, there is the sending channel. I've left it at zero in this case because this hub is not sending anything, but you could have picked a number again from zero to 255. But then this hub is listening or receiving or observing data on channel 123, the same channel we've set up over there. And when you do it this way, it's going to be listening for any value broadcast on the channel. The setup also includes two variables, which we will be using to store the result that we receive. Now onto the main part of the program of the Inventor Hub. It is also a loop that it's going to repeat the whole time, and it's going to listen for the received values. It's going to turn the light on and it's going to display a number. So let's look at these one by one. The first thing it's going to do, it's going to use the observe block to observe any value on channel one, two, three, which as you can see here was a list of two values. Because it's a list, we can use the unpack list block to unpack the value that we receive into 
the variables uh, that we have just set up. So at this point, we should have two values and we can do anything with them. In this case, I'm just simply going to display the reflection variable value on the hub display, which gets displayed over here, uh, which allows you to display any number from zero to 99. And then for the light using the force sensor, we receive the force value and then use it to determine what to do with the light. If the force value is greater than half Newton, the light is going to turn green. Otherwise, it's going to turn red, which has the effect of turning the light green if you press the button. And that is pretty much all there is to it. And you can expand this as you like and make this as advanced or as functional as you like to do all sorts of more interesting stuff with your LEGO robots. Now, at this point, it's probably not going to surprise you that the whole time I had a few more hubs set up outside the view of the camera, but just let's put them in. So here is another Spike Prime hub running the exact same program as this one, which, as you can see, is receiving the same values. And it's also getting the button state through as well. And notice, by the way, that all of the programs will keep working even if we disconnect them from the computer. In fact, we could turn the programs off, just turn them on again, and they should keep working. In this case, it's going to display zero in both of these hubs because this one is not turned on yet. But if I turn this program on, it's immediately going to receive uh, these values. But it doesn't end there because it also works on the city hub, on the technic hub, and even on the boost move hub. So if I press the button, in this case, all of the lights are going to turn green. At the same time, all of them are also receiving the reflection value, but in this case, only these two have a display to show it. All right, thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing what you'll build with Pybricks.